This is the new GeForce RTX 4090, and I'm going to walk through the subcomponent by tearing it down step by step. It's a full 3 slot PCI card with a 12 inch length and a 5.4 inch height. First, I'm going to remove the cover to access the screws and then take apart this card all the way down to the back cover. This is a latch here and then there are two hooks on the other side. In the previous generation, there were four separate small caps to access the screw, but here we made one piece cover for easier access. Now I can see the back cover. This is the same screw configuration as the previous generation. Four screws with a T5 head and then another four screws with a Phillips head. There are two more interlocking features in the middle. This is the IO bracket supporting three slots in the chassis. These are T8 head screws. Next, I'm going to disconnect the cable. This is a wire cable for GeForce RTX logo lighting module. I'm going to unlock the silver latch first and pull up the cable. These are the flex cable for fans. I'm going to open the black door first and then pull out the cable carefully. This is the retention mechanism between the GPU and the heatsink called lip spring. These are the T6 head screws. A crisscross pattern can be used to alleviate pressure and tension more evenly. I'm going to go about 40% larger on each side until it's removed. This should be in the range of 2 to 2.5 inch pound torque when I reinstall them later. Now, the PCB should be free to be lifted up. This is a light guide for LED lighting, and then these are two supporting lips. I'm going to simply remove them. It's a full pan with one 16mm diameter mounted by four screws with a Phillips head. I'm going to flip it around. It's a push pan. This is the last stage to have the heatsink separated from the main frame completely. There are three retention springs here, one, two, and three. It's the unique mechanism that has been used since the last generation in terms of mechanical architecture. 
Technically, it enables the heat sink to float on the GPU package and gives us direct thermal contact, not being affected by the manufacturing tolerance variation from the other associated components. The other benefit is that it can be the self-center of the card in the mainframe. I'm going to place the card on the table vertically uh, like this for easier handling. Here are all components of the GeForce RTX 4090. 